Hi, Stace. All right, here we go. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are now recording. So if you are, if you have not hit mute, please mute your um, lines. You're going to see it at the top of your screen of your box. You'll see a little mute. Um, and you're going to want to mute. So make sure you're muted. Okay. All right, Stacy, you are on. Well, thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks so very much for coming tonight. One of the biggest reasons why I really wanted to meet with all of you is because I have been blessed so many times by other consultants who have taken the time to share and teach me. So um, I'm going to just admit this right up front. Speaking in a large group or a small group for that matter is not my forte. So please pardon me if I stumble on my words. And yes, I am using notes. Part of engaging is being yourself. And this is me. So I wanted to share a little bit about me before we move on to the engaging. Somebody is not muted. You hear that, Leslie? Okay. Um, I joined the Pampercheck family with Team Mo um, in October of 2017, and I'm very, very proud to share that I've never had less than $1,000 a month in sales since I began. Um, starting in January of 2018, my sales have never been lower than $2,500. And starting in April of 2018, they've never been lower than $3,000. Now. Here's something that may shock you. Until about three, maybe three and a half months ago, I never double booked a party. In fact, I probably never did more than three or four parties a month. Uh, right now, my uncomfort but semi-comfort zone is six parties a month, which means I'm to doing two parties a week. I now do three day virtual parties with one day of pre posts. So that's four days in total of my virtual parties. I post 15 times a day. I begin at 7.30 in the morning and I end at either eight o'clock or 8.30 p.m. at night depending on my game time. And my game times are always my very last post of the night. Out of these 15 posts, 15 of them are engaging. Yep, that's right. Every single one of my posts are engaging. If it's not in the post itself, it's in my comments to my guests. And I'll show and explain to you just how I do that in just a bit. You've heard Leslie mention someone by the name of Chandra, from the Perch Bird many times. Um, if you don't know who she is, Leslie can address her later. Early on when I first started, I heard her speak and was absolutely mesmerized. And about a year ago, Terry created the Comma Club and strong advice and totally off topic. This exclusive group is a wealth of valuable information. And I'm very proud to say that I have been a part of that comic club from the beginning. Um, probably about either the first or the second month in, I heard this fast track director by the name of Stephen Joseph speak. And I know you all know who Stephen Joseph is at this point. Um, it was in a Zoom call and Stephen was asked a direct question. How many times do you go live in your parties? And his response literally changed my entire Pampered Chef career. He said, I don't go live. And I was like, what? Now, I'm not suggesting that you do or don't go live. That's not what my point is here. My point really is very, very simple. It finally all clicked. I learned that it was okay to go my own way and to follow my own path. And most of all, to trust myself. Now, in host coaching, we share with all of our hosts the importance of being present and active in parties. And we explain that being active is not hitting the like, love, wow button. So we as consultants need to follow that advice. By, and how I do that is by engaging. Now, 
Leslie shared a lot of Stephen's posts of how to engage, all of his engaging posts. But if you are not engaging or being present, these will not be successful. So let's start by showing you what I mean by engaging. I'm going to presume that all of you do the roll call game in your parties. I have moved mine from the first day into my pre-party posts. There is so much valuable information I collect thanks to this wonderful tool, and that's where I'm going to begin. So hopefully, Leslie, I'm going to uh, do my screen the right way. Screen, share, did it come up? Oh, hold on. Is it here? Can y'all see? Okay. Okay. This is uh, this is an older roll call image of mine, um, and I love this game because it's the first time I get to know my guests. How does this? How does the engaging begin by asking questions? Um, whenever time I post roll call, I make certain to a lot about thirty minutes of my time to be online. For me, as a consultant, the engaging begins from this point on throughout the rest of the party. So let's walk through this step by step. Here you see, roll call, how do you, how do you know our host? What was your first Pampered Chef item? What are your top three wish list items? What's your biggest struggle in the kitchen? Now, I played this game with my director, Lindsay Moe, and she was kind enough to play along and answer the questions. So let's move to the next slide. Here were her answers. My first Pampered Chef item was the mix and chop. My top three wish list items are new pots and pans, a good cutting board, and the garlic press. My biggest struggle is making dinner everyone in my family likes and figuring out what's for dinner. And here's how I would respond to her. Hi, Lindsay. Oh, my very first item was also the mix and chop. I've got to ask, have you tried using it to make mashed potatoes or even applesauce? I'm doing a little consultant's happy dance with your wish list items. We'll be covering all three of them during your host's party. I'll make sure to tag you when I post. And I recently purchased our six piece nonstick set. Let me simply say they're worth hosting a party for. You will love them. Uh, the what's for dinner syndrome. Happy to share. Chef understands struggle. I'll be addressed throughout through books and recipes throughout your host party. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to have a fun three days together. Now let's address why I made these replies. I always use the person's name when I reply. It tags them. Plus, my goal is to begin a comfortable dialogue. If I were to speak with them in a room versus a computer screen, I'd be using their name. I always ask a question. Why? I'm asking them to respond. Each time a guest responds, I gain valuable information and we're forming a connection. I specifically asked for, wish list, for her wish list items to gather valuable information. Lindsay mentioned cookware. That gave me my first opening to suggest hosting a future party. I now know which items she's interested in and can bring her into the conversation when I feature that item. This is what I call a win-win. My guests feel important and I have my first potential future host. I found out my guest struggles, so I'm able to share Pamper Chefa's items to address it, as well as indicate we'll be addressing her struggles in the party. Again, valuable information, and it creates the beginning of trust. I'm listening to what she's writing. And finally, I always thank each guest for joining the host virtual party. I also remind them that we're going to have a fun few days together. It's what I consider the wrapping paper, or the, excuse me, on the wrapping paper. 
Now I'm going to show you my own roll call parties from both of my parties that ended on Friday. In that party, I had 51 comments. That's 51 times that I was able to find out valuable information and begin engaging with my hosts. This is party number one. Party number two, I had 58 responses. So again, I'm showing you, these are all ways to kind of begin my engaging with my hosts. Now, I told you that I share valuable, inf I save that valuable information that I gain from that. You can make notes, which sometimes I do, but sometimes what I do is just something very simple, and I'm sh I brought this up, this is from my, my smartphone. At the top of your smartphone, you'll see something that says discussions, chats, photos, events, etc. And in this area right here is the search. If you would put in roll call, the, the slide for roll call that you've created comes up, and you can then click on that to find out everything that was posted in that particular post, like the person's name, what their wish list items are, um, what their first Pamper Chef items were, so that you can continue that dialogue. Now, how do I begin engaging using the information I've obtained from Roll Call? In my next post, I want you to keep in mind, please notice that I always engage using the guest's first name. Don't be afraid to interject your own personality into your post and answers. And I just am going to say this up front. I had two different parties with two brooks, one brook in each party. Believe me, this got confusing for me too. So here's my first one. Calling all stoneware fans, shout out your love in the roll call game last night. I'm bringing it back to roll call. Some of you even showed me your season pieces. I'd love to hear from you today. What's your favorite piece? How old is it? Would you please share a picture of your beautiful seasoning? I've got a thing for seasoned stones. And then I tag the people that mention stoneware to me. And what do I do at the end? You see, I pay attention. Uh, there were a number of people who responded, but right away I've got Madeline who says, I have the bar pan, I tagged her. I have the bar pan, the pizza stone, the covered baker, the fluted cake pan, the round baker, the, she goes on and on and on. What's happened? We have started a dialogue. We have created our first communication. We are engaged. Here's another example. I asked for posts for the season stones. Somebody posted their picture. And here's me responding, engaging. Look at that fabulous seasoning on the 10 year old round stone. It's so, I am so, so, so envious of you. Brooke posted this in roll call and I asked if she'd please pop on over here and share it with the group. This is years of love. Look at this everyone. Wow, wow, wow. And what happens? Brooke comes back on and she says, my pleasure. Another engaging post. We've made communication and connection. My final one is this, and I don't have the picture of it because it wouldn't fit on the screen. There, <laughs> the other Brooke in the other party has a stone, had a pizza, a round stone that is 22 years old. It was as black as charcoal, the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in stoneware. <clears throat> and I made a really big deal about it. Oh, 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 stop everything, Brooke, that round stone, it doesn't get any more beautiful than that. Season to perfection, oh my, in total awe. And Brooke comes back on, and we got it as a wedding present 22 years ago, and we continue to have a dialogue. So this is just, try I'm just trying to show you how I tie in the importance of roll call. Um, I have been messaged several times with, People say, well, okay, great, you can do all this. How do you deal with somebody who gives you a one-word answer? So that's my next one. I got a wow. What do you do with a wow? You, uh, what I do is I refer back to whatever it is that I have posted about. And in this particular one, it was about the entertaining set. So I said to her, again, using her name, 
Mallory, these pieces are truly worth hosting your own virtual party for. Simple one part wonders. And then I ask a question, and how about that recipe? So what am I doing? I'm suggesting to her that these are, these are the pieces, let's have a party. So I'm, I'm putting that first kind of thought into her mind. And then I'm asking her a question and I want a response. And her response is, excellent recipe. My response back is a GIF, wahoo, we're good. So that's kind of what I do. I just refer back to the post when I get a one word answer. Do I do this all the time? No. Do I do it often? Oh, yes, I do. So sometimes you need to go with the flow of the party, which means that you just have to have some fun. And so that's what this next post is. Oh, wait, I think I got ahead of myself. Sorry. Um, yeah, I did get ahead of myself. I'm sorry. This is the post where I had posted something about it, about I this was the deep covered baker and she had no idea that you could stick the deep covered baker in the microwave so she says quick and easy thanks for the information and the recipe i've got to try this i didn't know i could use my deep dish baker in the microwave goes to show you that you're never too old to learn something new you just need to pay attention and so again always addressing by name Mar Mallory, I know you've got lots of our stoneware because she's told me she has lots of our stoneware. If any piece fits in the microwave, use it there for sure. This recipe is so delicious and couldn't be any easier. I've got another I'll share here called the 30 minute chicken. No joke, it takes just under 30 minutes from prep to table, just like this one. And you can see she's responded. We are, so this is kind of what I do over and over again in just different ways. Here's what I mean, I got a little ahead of myself about having fun in the party. My word of the party in this particular party was tool. And several of them started with this, I spy with my little eye to tools. So you gotta just go with the flow. This is what I mean about having fun in your parties when you engage. And I say, having this new game, Mallory, two bonus tickets. And it took me three seconds to find a GIF that said, I spy with my little eye. And we had a nice little laugh about this whole thing. Let's see. Sometimes you get a really golden opportunity like this. And this is when somebody addresses something that this is on her wish list item. And this is almost always what I do when I see a wish list item. I say, Abigail, again, I'm going to refer back to her first name. You've picked one of my favorites. Let's schedule a future party and get this in your kitchen. Well, in this instance, I am gonna tell you that Abigail scaled a, decided that she was going to schedule her future party. All of these very easy ways of engaging that are natural ways to interject, asking your guests to host a future party. It's, instead of just your post of host a party, here's the benefits all of these very, very easy ways. Okay, this is something that I really, that's really important and something that I learned from Chandra, I will say that. Any time that a guest asks a question about a product specifically, I never ever answer in the reply section. I always answer in the comment section. And the reason why is because I want everybody in the party to see my reply. And if, I hit, if I'm under the reply, it's not necessarily seen by everybody. So this is what she said. Am I understanding that, this is what Dana said, excuse me. Am I understanding that you put your own olive oil or, olive oil or whatever into that bottle and it will work like the aerosol can sprays? Me, my response, yep, you've got that 100% correct, Diane and I've used her name once again, except there's none of that not so healthy additives in those aerosol spray cans. There's a complete list of the oils Pamper Chef recommends using in the use and care brochure that comes with each of our items. P.S., and this is all totally me, you know I love to multitask. This works great with balsamic or red wine vinegar, except I have red wind vinegar. Oh, that's not good. Okay. 
many of you have asked about my game times and I will tell you that my, my game times last for a total of 30 minutes. I check in about every 10 minutes. How do I engage with them? By following along in the game. And um, I'm gonna just click on this so that you see. This, I, we've all played this probably, the, the replace one word in the movie title with a potato. And I fell in love with this game because this is the one that Lindsay played with me at my personal uh, Pamper Chef party many, you know, a couple years ago. So I just want you to have a look here. Party number one was 201 comments. That's 201 responses. Now remember, these are 30 minute games. In party number two, same game, 191 comments. Now, how do I practice engaging in this party? It's really simple. Well, first of all, when there's this many comments, there's absolutely no way, nor would I want to try to comment on each one of these. It's not necessary um, and it would be crazy on my part. So I'm just gonna give you an example. Some, somebody would post, let's say, gone with a potato. And my response for about seven to 10 of these is to pick out a particular movie and answer it with something fun. Like mine would be, I don't know nothing about birth and those potatoes because that's a line from the movie. So in any of my replies, I always, always, again, use the person's name. So if this were uh, Jonelle, I would have said, Jonelle, I don't know nothing about birth and babies. So she sees that comment. And like I said, I usually, with, with my games, interject between six to 10 times. So this was my potato game. And then here's my next game which was um, the, the following night, it was a GIF. Um, there were 110 comments for the first one and 135 on the second one. And I end the game after 30 minutes, me. That doesn't mean that the game stops, but they continue to play sometimes even though the game's over. And I love that, that I, I'm, I'm out of the picture for that night. And I always end my games with a, something like this. Wow, wow, wow. How am I ever going to decide? And the reason why they're saying that is because in my GIF game, part of the way that I engage with them is that I run a contest. The first prize gets 25 extra bonus tickets. The second prize gets 20 extra bonus tickets. And the third gets 15. Now, here again, I will interject comments like, this is a hilarious name that you're giving, or I can't believe you found this. And sometimes I'll even say something like, it's going to be really hard to top that name, just, just to kind of interject a little bit. Um, and I know that some of you might worry, like with just a half an hour game, like what happens to, if somebody misses the game? And nothing happens. Um, and here's a very good example. It's always about um, making everybody feel happy, excited, and included. Oops, I saw I was too late. I was putting the kids to bed. And she had already put like five potato comments down. And I said, not a problem, Lindsay. Again, addressing her by name. I'm counting all your fabulous potatoes. I mean, movies. And it was fine. Um, I never want anybody to feel like just because game time is over that they can't continue to play and have fun. And of course, here's my favorite. When this is another, this is this, the same game and I post my game over there, as you can see, that's still continuing. And somebody says, that was lots of fun. Uh, that's just the best for me. This also works in my, in your, in your VIP communities. I have, game time once a month in my VIP communities. I keep it to a half an hour and yep, this was our December game in a half an hour. We had 335 comments. And in my January game, which is the one I sent Leslie, which is why we decided to do the Zoom call, I had 461 comments in 30 minutes. Engaging works. Now, here's the real fun part, and these are my final four slides. 
these four slides are our January game time here in PC Winners. Um, none of you realized it, but my simple engaging uh, by just a little tweaks here and there, we had the highest number of responses of our game time since they began. I didn't even bring Leslie Caperton into this, into, into the loop until it was late Friday afternoon. And all it took was a few moments of engaging on my part. And all of you did the rest. How did I do it? Just like I do with my virtual parties. Um, I tagged someone, they answered, then someone else answered, and then I tagged someone else, and then it just went on from there. And let me just show you, um, the first week we had 68 comments, and these are kind of out of order. The next one, this should have been the third week. We had 51 comments, 71 comments, and here we go with our Disney, 144 comments. Okay. So, let's see. Leslie, how do I get out of Ooh. screen share? Just go down. Do you see at the bottom? Or at the top? Top see? share. Yeah, okay. There you are. Okay, sorry about that. So, I don't know if you post something from the virtual party packs or Leslie's EnviroNote or a party that you've created yourself, yourselves. These are what I call the meat and potatoes. That's the Pamper Chef product information and the recipes. I share this with my personal team all the time. What's the best part of any meal? The dessert. Each of you are the very best part of your party. When you engage with your hosts and their guests, they have fun. And when they have fun and feel included, they return over and over again to participate. You're going to hear a whole lot of important names in the Pampered Chef as, you're, as you are a consultant. But there's one really important one I never ever want you to forget. As a matter of fact, if you don't have paper out, take a piece of paper and pen and write this one down. The name of that person is you. Before I wrap up, I wanna assure you of something. Will engaging work every time in every party? No but it does work over 90% of the time in my personal parties. Sometimes it's high sales. Sometimes it's high bookings. Sometimes it's welcoming new members into my community and planting seeds for the future. And sometimes it's a host or a guest who wants to join my team. And sometimes it's all of the above. The one sure thing is that hosts and guests walk away from my virtual parties having fun. And for me, that's one of the most satisfying feelings of all. And that's my secret. Thank you so much, Leslie, for giving me the opportunity. You did such a great job. <laughs> Amazing. Thank so you. you. See what an incredible job. And what's so funny is Friday, that Disney post, when it was going on and on and on, and you guys were so engaged, and it probably was one of the most engaged posts ever on our entire page, period, whether it's a Friday fun day game or whatever. And I messaged her and I'm like, this, you need to talk about this um, at the Zoom on Monday because that showed you what she did. I mean, she, she did it. You know, getting you all excited and, and what a cute game. That's a great game that you could play on your VIPs or even in your in your um, virtuals because it ties to Disney, which is the trip next year, which is also very, that's what I would call an indirect um, recruiting drop. 
so if there, if you know people who want to go to Disney, they can earn Disney. So anyway, so yeah, she did a wonderful job. So how many of you learned something tonight? Raise your hand. Yeah. How many of you are going to change the way you do your post now? So I will tell you on the Evernote file, I did update it today. I put in a couple of my changes I made and then I put this engaging post, engaging post. So now you have an idea what they are and how to do them. Um, and I know if you guys have any questions, Stacy will take them. So you can either put them in the chat or you can come off mute if you have any questions. We have time, we can answer them. Um, but we don't want to keep you guys too late. So any questions? None. She did such a great job, pretty much. I mean, you really did a fabulous job, Stacey, giving them all the information they need. So now you know what to do. It worked. Okay, Brandy, are you going to ask a question? Hi, sorry. I've been fighting something, a cold, sinusy something, so I sound mm. kind of funny. <laughs> um, Stacy, I think I need your potato picture. Could you share it with me? Oh, sure. Actually, I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure what um, what game that is, but I feel like that would be super fun. I love that. Well, I, I can't take credit for that. That's all Lindsay Mo. Oh, of course, because she's also <laughs> a rock star. <laughs> I, make it. I don't even know where that come from. came from. It even came from Jonelle. I feel like half my stuff came from Jonelle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have to agree with that. <laughs> yeah, that Janelle, game. Janelle came up with this really cute. Do you want to explain it, Janelle? Come off you and tell them about this. Change the name of a movie or change the name of a song. Go ahead. A song. I, I have one for every month because every month is a different um like food of the month. So I made different ones for a whole year in like, was it 2017, I think? So I have a stock of them. So I'll repost them to the Caperton page. That would be awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like one yeah. month was oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal was the food uh -huh. of the month. So. <laughs> um, so whatever, it, they work though. They love those games. Those are the, those are probably one of the best games. And so yes, Janelle came up. Janelle has a lot of really awesome posts that she has shared with us over um, the past couple of years. And you can even go into picks and find all that stuff. But we're trying to put them all, I'm trying to put them all in one place so you can find them. So I did update the units. I did come on live today and tell you about that. So you click on units and go to virtual show. There's a whole bunch of the engaging posts in there. There's also a unit on videos, and there's a lot of training videos that where you can see Steve, <clears throat> um, some other, I'm going to add some more. Cami Cruz just did a video for Sharon Zellin's team. Cami had the highest trip points ever, I think, in the history of um, Pampered Chef for the trip um, for Hawaii. It was over 400,000 trip points. <laughs> wow. It's incredible. So she shares how she did that and what she did. It was all her shows. She really did a lot of shows and she was selling around 20000 a month with some personal sales with her shows. And it, a lot of it is all this engaging post. So if you are good at doing multiple shows and you can do a bunch and you put to use this amazing information that Stacy shared tonight, oh my gosh, it's going to change your business. It really is. All right. Any other questions? No. All right, ladies. We're not going to keep going any longer. I think we and Mark, Mark's going to ladies and gent, gentlemen. Um, so we are done. Thank you so much, Stacy. You did a fabulous job. I'm so proud of you. I know, St I know, Lindsay's really proud of you too. Fabulous, fabulous job. So thank, thank you, you so everybody. much. I will. Thank you. thank you. You are welcome. So we did record, and it recorded the whole thing. So I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>